Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Ramon here coming with another statue review. This one is from the Lord of the Rings premium format line from Sideshow Collectibles. This is of Saruman the White. Um, I actually got this statue in a couple weeks back, um, but unfortunately my first one came in with a little bit of damage on his hair. So I just went ahead and contacted Sideshow and they were able to go ahead and just get me a replacement. So very, very happy. Um, I can just tell you when I opened up the box and took him out, I was just blown away from the detail of the head sculpt and as well of the premium format. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think this is probably one of Sideshow's best premium formats. When it comes down to just the cloth, tailoring, embroidering, this thing is definitely a top-notch piece. Let me uh, just give you a quick look at the base here. Has the traditional Lord of the Rings base with the little plaque. It says Lord of the Rings Saruman. Um, going around the base, uh, it's pretty much simple. I mean, it's the same thing all the way around. You can see the little bit of a design here. It goes all the way around the base, different little color tone. Um, as you can see here, this is the button for the light up feature that I'll go ahead and show you guys in a little bit. And let's just start off here with the base. Um, as you guys could see here, this is the black marble effect. Um, if you guys remember from the movie, uh, in the Tower of Isengard, this is basically um, the flooring that was in, was in the tower. So it's definitely a cool pose. Um, Saruman is basically walking down the steps. And I, I thought that was really, really cool how they did that. Um, we could start off here with his boots. Uh, really well done. Uh, this is all polystone. But the detail on it is just amazing. You can see the laces there. came out really good. Um, coming up here, as you can see, I mean, it's already into the premium format and it is amazing. Um, if you guys could kind of see that, this is the design that kind of comes all the way around right here on the edges, which is really cool. As you can see there, there's the belt, the detail here. Again, it's just it's just really well done. I mean, fitted. It, it's not really like you know really baggy or just it just looks bad where they just threw cloth on top. Now this is really really well done. Um, I could go ahead and show you a favorite part. For me, it is right here, kind of on his sleeves. As you could tell, it's a different type of material. Um, it's embroidered all the way around compared to here, where it's just kind of flat. There. Very very cool. Um, I don't know if my camera could pick that up, but you could see the lining there, kind of like a silverish tone that goes all the way down. I mean, they really didn't cut any corners on this, um, especially from the premium format line. I mean, the character is obviously wearing a, a robe all the way around, and they pulled it off great. Um, give you a quick zoom in here of the orb, which came out fantastic really really cool looking um this was another big selling point for me um seeing him hold the orb and obviously having the light up feature is a plus so i'm a big fan of light up features um let's see another quick little zoom in here on on the chest piece of the robe which came out really cool on the other side here um as you can see he's holding his staff the staff is really cool. Um, you know, I believe it's kind of some type of metal. It's 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 heavy, so it does have a little bit of weight to it. And so there we go. Little quick view of the staff on the top, which is really cool. So yeah, it just goes all the way down. Um, it rests on the base. There's like a little slot there, and it just kind of uh, sits there nicely. Doesn't move, which is good. And let's go ahead and let's just show you uh, one of the best parts of this statue. And this is going to have to be the head portrait. The sculpt is just on point. Um, that's Christopher Lee, no doubt about it. I mean, this is one of those sculpts where you could just look at it and boom, you know exactly who it is. 
it, it's great. Sideshow did a great, great job sculpting this this piece. This head portrait is is awesome. Probably one of my favorites um, from the head sculpt wise. I think it's just spot on. Great detail on his beard, as you could see. They you know kind of gave it some shading. Just didn't just leave it white. Um, there you go there, as you can see, you know, his eyes, he's kind of looking in a certain angle, which is really cool. It, it's just, it's just great. I mean, this came in an instant favorite of mine. Um, most of you guys know I, I collect a lot of the Lord of the Rings premium formats. I don't have all of them, but again, you know, I, I do have the majority of where my, that were my favorites. So, um, this one, I was kind of late to the party getting, um, ordering him, but no regrets now. I mean, once I have him in hand, I mean, he's a must. If you are collecting this, the Lord of the Rings premium format line, um, I really advise you to get this one because this, it, it just came out really good. Especially if you want to go in, ahead and display him with a uh, Gandalf premium format. They look great together. Um, I will go ahead and knock out a review of Gandalf coming up shortly. And I'll also show you a quick uh, quick look of how they look together in the Besta. So here we go again. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the light up feature. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to really see it, you know, kind of daytime. But um, as you can see, it's like flickering. Really cool effect. I mean, it's just really cool. Especially when it's dark and you want to, you know... Put on a light up feature just to kind of show somebody it, it's it's really cool. So there you go there. Yeah, I mean he's a tall piece. He's about twenty six inches tall. So um, obviously you know if you have him on a shelf or in a besta, you are gonna have to adjust um, adjust the shelves a bit because of how tall he is. So that's basically what I had to do. Um, but like I said, I mean, if, you, if you're if you on the fence about this piece, in my opinion, I will just, I would say go for it. I mean, it, it's a must. It was a must for me um, after, after I kind of, you know, saw some pictures and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And I'm happy I did. So let me just kind of give you a slow, slow walkthrough of him, like I said. Very cool piece. I mean, again, from the bottom of the base, the pose of it, awesome. And yeah, um, great add to my collection for my Lord of the Rings line. He looks great next to Gandalf, and, you know, I'm really, really happy with the pickup. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll definitely get back to you guys. So I appreciate it, guys. Talk to you later.